Welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thanks for joining me, and let's get right to it. First off, I want to take a second to say, you know, that I, I want to say, you know, people need to be praying for the people of South Texas, praying, helping, doing whatever it is you can do, because the people in South Texas are just dealing with a, it's just been terrible. I don't know if you've seen some of the pictures coming out of Houston, but it has been terrible. And not to mention where the storm came ashore around Rockport, Texas, and literally destroyed the entire area. There are parts of Texas that are completely just gone. Port Aranis or whatever is down, is gone. It's 100% lost, according to its mayor. And the storm is out, out over the Gulf right now. It's not expected to strengthen anymore, but it's going to make landfall again somewhere between Houston and Lake Charles, Louisiana. And these places have already been impacted, you know, very badly by the storm. Very, It's been very hardcore rain, torrential downpours, flooding. You know, we're talking feet of rain. We're not talking, a, you know, a few inches, not five, five, six, seven inches. No, we're talking feet of rain, up to three feet and four feet in places that I have, I have seen. They're talking maybe in some places, you know, just amazing amount of rain. Just unprecedented. So do keep those people in your thoughts and prayers. And if you're in the path of the storm as it's coming back on shore or you're down there and you're not sure if you should evacuate, if you even think you need to evacuate, evacuate now. Because they're, with all the people that are having to be rescued, it may be a long time till someone can get to you if you can't get out later. So if you can get out and you need to get out, get out now. It is people. This is not a. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is not practice. This is very deadly serious. People have died, and you've got people out there risking their lives to rescue people who didn't know they needed to get out. Well, you see how the storm is going, and if it's headed your way, and it looks like it's going to flood you because of all the rain, then you need to get out. That said, on to the rest of the news. On Friday, Donald Trump pardoned Sheriff Joe Apio of Arizona. Apio had been found in contempt of court for violating the civil rights of Latino Americans, not the right human rights of all the you know illegal aliens or whatever that he has um, violated their own their human rights for, but he was found in contempt for violating the the civil rights of Latino Americans, as in citizens of the United States of America. He was violating their rights. And that is the reason the court found him in contempt and placed him in jail. And on Friday, Donald Trump decided he would pardon a person who was violating people's civil rights. Why? Because Donald Trump hates, hates immigrants coming in, he doesn't like Latinos, and he doesn't like people in general that are not part of his, you know, I guess his cloth, I guess you could say. That said, though, he... He sat there and just sat there and talked about how Joe Apio had been so unfairly treated yesterday. Like, oh my God, he was just so unfairly treated because he was placed in contempt of court and for violating people's rights. Oh no, he was so inconvenienced because he broke somebody else's, you know, their rights. He violated somebody else's human or civil rights as Americans. So we're not even talking about illegal aliens here. We're just talking about Americans. So that's already bad enough. But the fact that Donald Trump doesn't seem to understand what this guy has done, that is the worst part of it all. Joe Apio is scum. He is the scum of the earth. Why is he the scum of the earth? Because he violates Americans' rights. He puts people in, in, in these horrific prisons even if they've just committed minor crimes down there you know put in a little tent city of his when i first heard about the tent city thing i was like oh this is interesting and then i found out people were going there simply for things like not paying traffic fines no that's not healthy and that ain't right not to mention violating people's rights within a sheriff's department by 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 going through and doing different kind of searches and different kind of I illegal searches, for example. Not to mention the fact that, you know, he profiles people. If just because they're, they're Hispanic, he automatically assumes they're illegals and wants their papers. 
Now, I understand Arizona's got that stupid papers please or papers please law bullshit going on, and I will never in my life go to Arizona, and that is why. I do not believe in that kind of BS. I don't believe that as an American citizen you should be stopped by a police officer just because your skin is brown and asked for your papers when you were fucking born here. Also, Donald Trump took a little heat from, from this from a lot of people, mostly Republicans, believe it or not. And John McCain won being saying that this undermines Donald Trump's supposed message that he... You know, he believes in the rule of law. By pardoning somebody who has violated somebody's rights, thus broken the law, it shows him to not care about the rule of law. So, Donald Trump, sir, you made a mistake here. And from what I'm reading in many places, it's an impeachable offense. I don't know if that's the case. I do understand presidents have the right to pardon people. But to pardon somebody like this, I, I, don't, I can't agree with it. It's simply wrong. It shows corruption on your part, in my opinion. And it's just pathetic. It just shows what a lousy president you really have been and you really are. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back for more later in the week. I'll probably have one out tomorrow, too, and maybe on Thursday as well. So y'all have a great day, and I'll see you on the road.